shaping up to be a great weekend for a big race. The Cellcom Green Bay Marathon is Sunday morning, and Allison's in Green Bay getting ready. <laughs> Hi, Allison. No, 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 hey, no. hey, good morning. That's right. We're out here on the route. This is the 10K mark, 6.2 miles for both the marathon and the half marathon. The 10K, hallelujah, because we're right here by Bridgepoint Church. Uh, we're going to show you what they have planned coming up uh, a little bit later this morning. But first, we want to talk about, let's say, you have somebody running the race. Pete, I know you can relate to that. And you want to be able to follow along with, with their progress. Uh, Cellcom has a lot of different ways that you can do that. We're with Janet Process, who kind of handles the technology for that in our model. Tammy, who's holding the computer here. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. So how can people track their runners during the race? Well, we have three ways they can track their runners. The first way is they could go to the Marathon website and sign up for text messaging. And if they sign up for text messaging, they will get a text message every time a runner crosses a mat. We have mats at 5, 10 for the full and the half, and then continuing on with the marathon, uh, the halfway point, the 15 mile, the 20, and then one mile to go, which will also be for the half marathon, and then the finish time. So okay. every time they cross a mat, they're going to get a text message that shows them their runner and what their time is, what their pace is. And the nice thing is, is their estimated time of arrival at the finish line. Oh. Every time they cross a mat, it's going to update that finish time. So you have a pretty accurate idea of when you can expect your runner to cross the finish line. How cool. So that's one way. Another mobile way is that we do have a website that allows you to type in the person's last name or bib number, and it will show you the last mat that they crossed, and again, their estimated time to finish. So that's really nice. Now, if you're not mobile, you happen to be sitting at home, and you'd really like to track your runners, we actually have some live results on the website as well. What you're looking at is last year's data, but it gives you an idea of what you're going to see. So when you go to our website on race day, just click on results, and what you can do is type in the, the runner's bib number and or last name, and it will bring up their information. And the nice thing is it shows you with the green check mark which mat they have crossed. And it's also going to tell you for every mile uh, what their estimated time of arrival is at that mile. Every time they cross over a new mat, it's going to re-estimate their pace. The other nice thing is, again, it will show you their estimated time of arrival at the finish line. So you're always going to be in touch with your runner. How cool. And that's all because they have little, little chips with them? Right. They have chips on their shoes, which also is connected up to the, not only the timing mats, but we have our cellular network connected to the timing mats as well. This is a pretty unique technology that only our race is doing. And uh, so it uses our cellular network to not only transmit the data through our network onto our mobile devices on our network, but you can also use any mobile device, it doesn't have to be Cellcom, to actually either sign up for text messaging or to look for mobile results on your, your uh, phone. Awesome. Thank you so much. You are welcome. How cool. So you can go to uh, the Cellcom uh, Green Bay Marathon website, which we'll have linked on ours, on fox11online.com, to get all that info. Uh, we're going to be uh, previewing more about the big races this weekend, the kids' race tomorrow, the mini marathon, and then the big races on Sunday. So good luck to all you runners. But, of course, something else really important is the weather. That's going to have a big effect on how enjoyable this race is going to be. So let's check in with uh, Good Day Wisconsin weekend meteorologist Doug Higgins to find out more about that. Good morning, Doug. Good morning, Allison. I think the weather is going to be exceptional for the big run on Sunday. The morning will start off cool, which is good for runners, and the winds won't be much of a factor. So we're going to start off at the 11-mile mark. Temperature should be around 52 degrees, winds southeasterly, only around 5 miles per hour. Winds will pick up a little bit more as we continue on to the race. The 16-mile mark as you cross the, uh, uh, the bridge into pier, hitting southeasterly winds around 5 to 10, the temperature around 55 degrees. You hit the wall at 20, hopefully not literally. Southeasterly winds still continuing only at 5 to 10 miles an hour and about 59 degrees and eventually making the big turn around through the downtown Green Bay area and back towards Lambeau Fields. Winds still out of the southeast at around 5 to 10 with the temperature finishing off the race around 62 degrees. So the only big headwind you'll probably have as you're making your way down Broadway towards uh, De Pere and again the winds only about 5 to 10 miles an hour and boy dry weather, not much wind. I think that's perfect racing weather. What do you guys think, Pete and Ray?